Hello, Kurt Curtis coming at you from the Full Octane Garage, and today we've got a fun project. We've been uh, working on a 1933 Auburn uh, boat tail, which has a flathead uh, straight eight cylinder motor. The problem we've had is we've had a, a bit of a valve ticking and maybe a slight knocking in the engine, so we pulled the head off. We noticed that there's some scoring on the cylinder, so that leads us to having to pull the motor out. So having never pulled a big honking motor out of one of these before, and there's no real instructions out there, you kind of got to figure it out on your own. So we're doing a little bit of video on this today. You know, the first thing you got to do is pull up all the floorboards and the floorboards in this vehicle are, are made of wood. So you pull the wood planks up to get to the transmission, disconnect the transmission. You have to drop the transmission out from the bottom of the car. Uh, once that's out, then you have front and rear motor mounts on this big, big straight eight cylinder motor. And this motor's got to weigh close to a thousand pounds. It's nothing but a bunch of cast iron. So what we're going to do is we're going to take you through the disassembly of the front fascia of the car where you have to take the hood halves off. You have to take the radiator grill, uh, radiator out, the radiator grill shell. Uh, the fenders can stay on. And then uh, what we do is our uh, garage down here has uh, these huge I-beams going across. So we got a, uh, 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 an engine pulley that slides uh, across these I-beams with a big chain hoist. And that's what we're going to use to pull the engine with. So let's go ahead and uh, take the next step. And I'll talk you through some of the videos of taking all the heavy parts off the motors. You'll see some pictures of the generator. Uh, and the fan assembly and all of that that you have to take off before you get to the rest of the engine. And then we'll go through a little bit of fun pulling the engine and uh, we'll have a video number two where we'll actually do the disassembly of one of these engines. So hang in there, we'll be right back at you. This is our fully assembled Auburn that's in much cleaner condition. What we decided to do is uh, video this particular motor to show you some of the items that you're going to have to take off prior to pulling the engine. Uh, one of the big ones is you're going to have to get the generator and the water pump which is attached to the back of the generator. You're going to have to unhook all of your hoses, uh, drain your water, uh, loosen your belt up on the, uh, the, the generator and take that off. You're going to also have to remove your fan assembly. You're going to have to remove your oil filter. You're going to have to remove your chassis oiling uh, container and last but not least you're going to have to remove your starter and then when you get to the other side of the motor you're going to see that you're going to have to take your distributor out you're going to take your coil off and on the other side you'll also have the intake and exhaust manifold with your carburetor assembly all of those items have to come off before the motor can be pulled uh, and then you can safely remove the rest of your uh, radiator surround your hoods and uh, everything will be uh, clear in the open. Uh, we also, as a pre precautionary, remove the headlights on the vehicles because uh, we don't want to damage any of the uh, nice chrome when you're pulling an engine out. The first step in the process was to pull the wooden floor planks out of the car so that we could get access to the transmission. We then got the transmission uh, unbolted everything, unbolted the clutch assembly. That was pretty uh, problematic getting the clutch pedals out because it has a, a, a bar that goes through the bell housing uh, that was a bit of a challenge to get out. We took that out, uh, dropped the transmission out from underneath while the car was on a lift, and then the next step was to get to the front of the car. A lot of you are probably thinking, how the heck do you get a heavy engine out of this car? Well, what we did is we got a block and tackle assembly uh, with a trolley system that rides on these I-beams in our basement. And the beauty of these things is, is that you can actually grab a hold of this thing and slide it across the I-beam while you have a lot of weight on it. Uh, we also uh, got one of these uh, chain pulleys to actually lift the engine out of the car. And this thing has a huge capacity of uh, lifting power. So that's exactly what we did to pull the engine out of this car. Okay, I'll we'll, we'll do a little looking up at the crane. <laughs> okay. How long you look bored? 
I think we're going to have to slide that bar back so we have you in the back, right? Okay. back on you? Now that the motor's out, it's a really good time to think about maybe taking a look at your steering box seals, maybe rebuilding the steering box if it has some extra play in it because this is the time to get that steering box off the car. The other thing is inspect all of your brake lines, make sure that you don't have any crimps in them, make sure they're all in good repair, and obviously our motor mounts are going to need to be replaced and we've got two fronts and two backs so now's an opportune time to replace motor mounts clean any chassis issues up uh, we got a little bit of uh, chassis rust that we're going to take care of on this we're going to replace a front leaf uh, in one of the springs and we're going to take an opportunity to uh, actually do a full paint recolor on this we're going to turn this car into a from a black and uh, maroon to a blue and maroon to match our Phaeton. So stick with us and you'll see the rest of the project through to completion. Something you're also going to want to do is you're going to have some organization and you're going to get a lot of parts off the car. You're going to want to have a nice place to stack all the parts up. Make sure you mark all the parts. We uh, take Ziploc bags and we mark every one of the parts in a Ziploc bag to where it goes. Uh, any of the big parts we'll lay out on a shelf. All the chrome parts we want to protect from damage. We've got the head we took off. We've got the fan assembly. And this is the transmission that we had to drop out. It's definitely a, a two-man job being as heavy as it is. And the harmonic balancer along with the bell housing. Thanks for joining us today at the Full Octane Garage. We hope you enjoyed this episode. If you liked what you saw, please don't forget to leave a thumbs up. Also, subscribe to our channel and like us on Facebook.